Walking through the outskirts of a listed you can meet two men here, today still perfectly preserved, despite the pitfalls of time. The first is the Menhir Terenzano, located in the territory of the homonymous homestead. The Menhir is set in a dry stone wall, in the same position that was found and catalogued in the early 60s of the 20th century. Another very interesting Menhir is the Ninfil. It is a rectangular base with a long side placed in the north-south direction, endorsing the theory that once the megaliths were also used as hearths compasses as well as places of worship. The particularity of this main here is the engraving of the number 30 on its western facade, whose meaning is incomprehensible today, even though it is most probably due to the intervention of contemporary man for some practical purpose. The Menhir is so named for the presence of the nearby Grotta Ninfil. The cave is completely immersed in lush vegetation and has been named since the times of the Mercedians to the nymphs responsible for the protection of all the fresh waters of the earth. In fact, the Nymphium of Helena is located a few meters from the slopes of the land, from where, even today, in some periods, spring water gushes. Another example of salentomegalithism are the specchia, which are small hills or stones piled up in the highest points of their territory. Many researchers believe that the specchia were monumental tombs erected in honor of a leader or chief. For this reason, many specchia of the Salento have been destroyed in order to unearth hypothetical treasures covered by them. These were the so-called Acchiatura. <laughs>